happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Um, if you're looking for a gift for yourself or for somebody else, um, I have something pretty cool that I've been using now for about a month and uh, I just wanted to do a little review on it and uh, kind of an explanation on how they work, what they do. So anyway, what I'm talking about is a, a throttle controller. Um, I got the speed form uh, throttle controller off of, uh, what's it called, uh, Extreme Terrain. Uh, about 140 bucks, uh, not too bad. Um, I've done a lot of mods to this Jeep. I've had it about a year, and um, I, but what I've been focusing on lately is uh, doing the ones that um, add to the experience of driving because I just love driving this thing. You know, manual transmission. Um, I got it. Uh, cold air intake, which, you know, there's all kinds of arguments online about what they do. But bottom line is they just make the make it a little peppier, but they make it more fun. They, you know, you can hear the air sucking in um, when you when you stomp on it, and and it, and, and it it gives you a little bit more performance. I also did dual exhaust because if I'm gonna suck it all in, I'm gonna blow it all out quick. So uh, the the exhaust, well, not dual exhaust, dual output exhaust. So it's basically just an axle back. So anyway, uh, I've been hearing about these throttle controllers and, uh, you know, been wondering, well, what, is, what the hell they actually do? And uh, so, you know, did a little research. And uh, so what all they do is basically after 1985, every vehicle is computerized. Um, there's no more, when you push the gas pedal, there's not a cable that pulls uh, a throttle body open or a carburetor open or anything there's no manual thing it's 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 basically just a a sensor and it um, and it tells the computer I need more fuel and air the computer determines how much you need and whatever so if you so you probably noticed when you hit the gas and you in your Jeep or any vehicle uh, there's a little bit of a lag um, and that's basically these engines are you know this is a, this is a 2010. It's got the 3.8, which is everyone makes fun of because it's a dog, and it kind of is. But you know, on a two door like this with the manual transmission, it's actually not bad. And then when you add little mods like the intake and the exhaust, and and now this throttle controller, it makes it even uh, more because you get you're able to get more out of the engine without doing a tune, uh, which and you're not getting more power, but you're accessing your power that you have a little bit better, a little more efficiently. So, and as a, another twist, I've been running this thing about a month now, and my mileage is better. And I, and I think I know why, because uh, I'm running it in sport mode, like the, the highest mode you can do. I actually had to turn it down a little bit um, because it was just too much. I was like, I was wearing out my clutch trying to tame the beast. It was, it was, it was so much. So anyway, uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and, um, and then we're going to talk it, and then I'm going to take a ride. So that's it, basically. Uh, that's the whole thing. I'm going to start it up so you can... So right now I have it in P3, which is the highest setting, but then you can scroll P9. Um, so you hit mode. Now it's an eco. Uh, and then you go one through nine. And then that's off, basically. It's, uh, I think that's supposed to mean normal. So that's basically just the Jeep stock. So then there's P1, which is like a little more performance, and then one through nine, P2, which is like a sport mode, and then P3, which is a race mode. I just keep it in race mode because it's uh, it's just, it's a noticeable difference and it's fun. And then you can, you can give it, if you don't want to deal with it, you can give it less gas. So anyway, um, I'm gonna take it for a ride. Okay, we're at a, we're at a park right now. I'm gonna take it a little easy getting out of the driveway and then I'll try and try and hammer it but the uh this town has been busy today for this beautiful day out here.
immediately. As soon as you step on the gas, it goes. If you're looking for something cheap uh, that dramatically improves your experience with your Jeep or any vehicle, um, I highly recommend uh, getting a throttle controller. There's a lot of them. There's Pedal Commander, which is more expensive. They have one that has like a Bluetooth and it's like 500 bucks. I, I think that's kind of a waste. Um, but I mean, get what you want. Uh, this one was cheap, and I, I picked this one because if, if it didn't work, if it didn't do anything, it wasn't a huge loss. But uh, it, it's extremely impressive. Uh, a lot of fun to drive. Oh, and the mileage. So for some reason, I've been driving it in, in uh, race mode, and my mileage is better. I'm averaging like 18.1 around town because I my commute is very short, and um, I'm just in town all the time. Um, so city mileage, 18.1, is ridiculous for a Jeep. And um, so I, I, my theory is that because the thing is so responsive now that I'm not laying into it as much anymore unless I just I'm looking to just have a little bit of fun and I mash it a little bit um, I really don't I'm not on the gas all the time and I find myself not having to downshift as much because there's more throttle response so I can stay in a higher gear uh, around corners and you know turning off under roads I don't have to go down in a second I can just leave it in third um, so I think that's contributing to the uh, to the better mileage. But so it, it, it's a win in my book for 140 bucks. So anyway, uh, have fun with your Jeeps. Uh, get whatever you like that makes you like your Jeep even more. That's my my theory. That's all I do with this thing is I just get stuff that makes it more fun. Um, so anyway, happy Father's Day again. Take it easy.